Hi there, and welcome to Final Fantasy Tactics Arena 1.4. We are recording a match between Seldy and um, Silent Caster. We've got on top Silent Caster's team. I paired up his new team, Andrew's favorite, against Seldy's Weapons of War using a random number generator. Always a good way to do a match. Um, so, we'll start off with the teams. We've got Troll 1, the Ninja. Troll 1 the Ninja is a 56 Brave, 50 Faith unit. That's interesting. Uh, nice Evasion, Repel Knife, and Spell Edge. We'll go look at those guys. Repel Knife, it smacks you. Uh, adds plus one move, of course. And then 50% uh, chance to add Don't Act in Haste. Um, that's nice. So basically he stops you from being able to act and then speeds you up to run you away. Um, then we've got Spell Edge. Spell Edge adds Faith. So that lets all faith-based skills hit you harder, um, since you're doing it to the enemy. Uh, makes them significantly more susceptible to statuses. Black Hood for some health action there. Uh, secret Clothes for the speed. Defense Ring uh, to protect you from Berserk and Sleep and Absorb Lightning. So what does this ninja have in Ninjutsu? If I remember correctly, not much. He has Miss Sogi. Miss Sogi's 100% hit. Uh, self only, cancel darkness, don't move, HP, poison, and slow. Um, then you've also got item. He's got several items. He's your item bot chemist with pretty much everything but antidote. Um, and then auto potion and concentrate maintenance so you can't break your shit. Cool. Troll 2 the mime. Load up with Nagus Shield and left hand empty. This is critical for you mime users out there. Left hand should be empty. Uh, gold helmet and crystal armor for the protection and berserk. We've got two swords there. Uh, dragon spirit, draw out, mimic, and move HP up. I know so little about mimes. But the only draw how he, he has is Masamune for the haste region. Um, and it's mime friendly. Troll 3! Troll 3 is a scholar. 77, uh, 70, 70. More pretty good MA for a scholar. Holy Miter, Diamond Armor, uh, for the status protections. Uh, Miter for the boost. Meteor Rods for the Meteor Proc. Combat Boots. Um, more and White Magic. Let's look at those lures and White Magics. So, White Magic, we've got Rays, Regen, and Asuna, so pick them back up. And then we've got Lures. Melt. Melt saps your MP. Um, saps? Wrong word. Melt just blasts the hell out of MP. In a line. Counter Flood to return Geomancies for the status procs, I'm assuming. Alright, Troll 4 is a wizard. Uh, of course, she's loaded up with all the wonderful wizardy uh, MA pumping. Summon magic, counter magic, short charge to get those summons and blight magic off faster. Move MP up to bring that up. Uh, nice health in the black hood. Defense ring again protects against lightning. Don't act. Don't move. All right. What is she rocking? She is rock rocking. Nothing from the wizard class. Moogle, fairy, carbuncle, Bahamut, and zodiac. <laughs> Love seeing those two. Um, Bahamut's there for the MA damage. Uh, for the straight up damage, zodiac is there, so he can just nuke things up high in the sky. All right. On the bottom, we've got all these teams, uh, Weapons of War, Gungnir the Lancer. Gungnir has the Vaulting Lance, uh, Savage Jump Lancer with tons of MA, uh, um, PA, sorry. Uh, I actually, this is exactly what my Lancer should have been in one of my earlier videos. Um, kind of sad that this wasn't my Lancer. And am I not recording audio? Holy shit, I'm not recording audio. So this whole time I haven't been recording audio and I've just been staring at those classes above. Okay, I feel really stupid now. So, I'm going to start with Seldy's team, Weapons of War. Um, welcome to 1.4 FFT Arena. Seldy's Gungnir the Lancers here. Uh, wonderful unit, Vaulting Lance for lots of power. Um, this is kind of the unit I was trying to go for in one of my earlier videos if you looked at that. Uh, some jumps, and then some draw outs, draw outs being Muscle Mune for the speed in the region. Alright, Panaka the Archer, Gastrophides, high damage unit. Uh, Brigadine defense, uh, Brigadine Black Hood for health, defense armlet to keep going. Defense armlet is absorbing fire, immune, don't move, don't act. Nice item. Auto potion, concentrate, so you're gonna hit item bot possibly. 
Item bot? Item bot? Oh, look. Seal evil, execute, cover fire. Not quite an item bot. A little bit more than that. Um, some nice items. Uh, gonna hit like a truck when it does hit with those arrows. Maintenance on these two so you can't break their stuff. Jump plus one there. Move HP up on the Geomancer. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Ramada gun for straight up damage. Items and top skills. So more item bot. Pure item bot there. Um, with no talk skills. Okay, but you took unyielding, that's why you just put it in there. Just so it wasn't blank space. Lionhearted Geomancer, so that's a 10 attack. You always want your PA to be even on your Geomancers. The reason is, is Geomancy takes half of your PA and multiplies it against your MA um, with a couple of points added. It's always an even number of points. Um, and that brings up rounding. Any formula that does division or multiplication, beware of half numbers. Half numbers will always be counted as uh, the lowest whole number. Not the highest we round down, not up here in FFT Arena. Uh, 108 gems is pretty much mandatory on Geomancers for boosting all their elements. Aegis Shield gives you that extra point of MA and some nice magic evasion. Counter Flood to return the favor. Um, magic attack up. Move HP up. Um, yeah, this is this is a hurdy, hurdy, hurdy lady. Um, and she took black magic. What did she take? Fire, bolt 2, frog, and death. So just a little bit of stuff there. Control 4 the wizard. We kind of talked about this. I looked at this. Summoner. Um, not much in the way of black magic at all. Absolutely none. But going to hit like a tank. Control 3 the scholar. Going for the meteor rod. Prox. Um, counter flood. More. We talked a little bit about this. The white magic bringing it back up. Mime 2. Draw out mime. Tons of fun. Um... Mimes must have that left hand free, um, and if you're going to do draw outs, Masamune is your friend, Murasame, sorry, Murasame is your friend. Uh, Troll 1, the ninja, that repel knife there is to push people away, and um, basically what it does is it adds, uh, I showed it to you, haste and don't act, so they run away faster, um, and then spell edge will add faith, so you can just sort of blast them with spells. Um, if I could get this guy to hit my own team, that'd be kind of fun sometimes. Um, maybe not with Spell Edge. Alright, we're gonna get a number from random.org real quick. Between 1 and 110, and we'll just pick that map, whatever the heck it is. Sorry for the beeping. 37! 37 is a funky number, we'll use that one just fine. So, we'll go to map 37. 37 is large. The ruins outside of Zoland. So the next map we'll fight on is a small one, and medium map will round us out. So Masamune is to start. I always get the... Ooh, nice cover fire. I always get the numbers mixed up and the letters mixed up on my uh, droughts. So if I butcher any names, it's because I don't natively speak Japanese and have not played this game enough. Nice use of regen. And here comes the fun shenanigans with the mimes. Now, I like mimes, don't get me wrong, I'm just not smart enough to use them. Aha! <laughs> Ooh, 211 damage. That's a lot. You can counter flood, and then another Bahamut. And that's the mine doing the mine thing. And we just blast them, blast them, blast them, blast them, blast them. Ouch. So it's on itself. The mine will heal itself now. Berserk on the mine is actually a really good idea because it keeps the mine moving forward. Ay, ay, ay. All that tight cast unit. That's gonna be scary when the wizard gets her turn. Mime gets in there, turns the appropriate direction to get spells off, and then throws out some regen. The mime will throw out a regen. Doesn't hit anybody. Yeah, it's taking in all those factors that you'd normally have to take in as a player. There it goes, Zodiac. And now. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. 
In just the lancer. And re raise, keep the mime going. Berserk so the mime just doesn't run away. Okay, I, I am totally a fan of this now. Ooh, double shot for almost 100 damage a piece. I mean, even without the martial arts, that's, that's nice. Big damage spell coming off that Geomancer. Smart targeting off the Lancer. We've got a couple of Bahamut right on the Archer. Gonna hurt. Gonna hurt. Cover fire against everybody. Counter flood doesn't quite finish them off. Oh, but just set up a uh, jump kill. Oh no! Phoenix down from the mime! Okay, wasting a turn whacking him away. Jeez. That didn't quite work out as planned, I'm guessing. Yeah, and cover fire just lets you shoot through walls. I wish you had to have, like, uh, line of effect to the uh, spot where you're doing cover fire, because, it's, I mean, it's coming from the bow. So, Andrew seems taking a little bit of a beat down, but that's okay. I think he can still come back? Yeah. White Magic Scholar just got picked up. I think I think we'll be okay. If they get to the mime... I mean, the mime's just a giant force multiplier. Being down a man sucks, but having a mime's almost like having a fifth person. My only issue with, with Phoenix Down, I have this issue with items, um, and I'll try to stay off the soapbox when I'm doing these, but Phoenix Down just brings you up two points. I love the White Mage's skill set so much more. Um, I think it's so much more versatile. Now, it does, of course, run off MP. It is fully reflectable. I understand all the downsides of it. Um, just really, really like White Magic just a little bit more. Uh, big damage spell coming in. And Ramonda Gun to drop the wizard. Spear Poke to drop the ninja. Fire to drop the mine. Here comes the rain. Oh, stop proc will really help. Spear poke. Pretty high damaging vaulting lance there. And that's match. Good match, you two. Um, so Saldi's weapons of war really hammered on that team. I was hoping to see a, a meteor rod swings, but we'll see in the next match. All right, so we're gonna go random.org, pull another number, not 37, 47. Okay, it needs to be a small map. It is a large map. We just played one of those, so we're going to go to the inside St. Maron's Temple. That is a small map. That will do just fine. Let me double check that we're still recording here. Yep, we're good. We're inside. We're having fun. No need to start this thing off. Open region, that's pretty good. 
Good heel on the feet. Sorry for that. That's the nice thing about mime. Mime does actually make some really good uh, use of the item skill. And I drop the Geomancer. Awesome. Some solid hits from the mime there. Regening the allies and the enemies. Let's see if uh, that falls off first. Zodiac goes off. That's a good shot, Red, too, but she's not in red. Now here comes Zodiac from mine. Smack the archer. Jumps right on top of the wizard. Another explosion to pick stuff up and the mine. So I actually think it makes the mine kind of tanky now. More fist punches from the mine over there. Nope. Meteor Wax. Oh, and it's a meteor! Nice. The dream is alive. And then the mime attempted to swing. The dream is most definitely alive. I want to see more of this meteor staff stuff. And just Dragon Spirit all around. Crossbow Archer doing work with that Gastrophides. Really good use of the guns. Whew. Glad that death didn't land. That would have been a short match. And cover fire. Just done doing all the work that ninja did. Re-raise. Just what that lancer needed. But I think Sully... Sully's probably secured this one. Just a little bit more damage spread out across the team. Yeah, I, I really like uh, the idea behind Meteor Rods, especially with the Summoner coming off the Black Magic and the Mime. I think that's all great synergy, um, crystallizing there. And yeah, once once we start getting crystals, the Cover Fire Archer with Concentrate, that's really working out. So overall, great teams, both of them. Um, very interesting team, but I do enjoy it. Oof. Shot in the back of the head. Our ninja, man. He can get to mine. Um, that's it. Great game, both of you. Um, win goes to Seldy, and I enjoyed it thoroughly.